What's going on guys? Welcome back to Black Tide TV and a brand new supply drop opening. Today I've got 99 supply drops. One of those is the winter bribe, which we'll have to experiment with. I've seen that it guarantees three winter items, and I haven't seen any one that I've seen opening them getting duplicates. So I think it's dupe protected as well. So we'll be opening up the 68 regular winter supply drops first, and then we'll be going to the winter bribe, hopefully getting some of those final items or some of the more epic items that we need to complete some collections. I'm obviously looking for some winter variants here or anything to complete the winter collection, the winter siege collection in the quartermaster. I've also got nine rare supply drops and 21 supply drops just from completing certain challenges and leveling up. I think we'll actually start with the basic supply drops that don't really do anything for me at this point. I will be obviously looking for certain heroics, but the chances of getting those in so few supply drops, it's slim to none. So we'll be going through the regular supply drops first, then the winter supply drops, and then hopefully we end the show the bang with the winter bribe. Exactly 99 supply drops. Just finished all of my weeklies and everything today, so... Let's get to it, starting with the regular good old supply drops. Actually, first things first, let's find a nice little area where we have a lot of people. Because the more people standing around your supply drop, the more XP you'll actually get, the more social score you'll get. So we've got armory credits, here be monsters, pistol grip, which I don't already have. 20 to go. Couple rares. Weapon XP, party foul duplicates, 5 minutes of XP. I'll take the regular XP. It's just the mission team XP, the division XP, I should say, is the stuff that I'm not too crazy about. Indian head epic for the mountain division, which I don't have. I'll take anything that I don't have. And we got a heroic. Nice. Oh, baby. That is awesome. The heroic bar. Oh, that's going to be awesome in Chrome. I cannot wait to look at that thing in Chrome. This thing looks awesome. I think Renman has the dude up too. It's a really, really nice looking bar. So that's pretty nuts that we got it on our third common supply drop. Is my luck coming back in this game? Well, the rest of this video will have to uh, tell us about that. 15 minutes of XP, 10 minutes of weapon XP. I'll honestly take the weapon XP as well. I'm currently working through the Gefair and there's a very specific attachment that you need with the Gefair for it to do any good, and that attachment unlocks pretty late. So uh, I'll take the weapon XP so I can level it up faster than anything else. Couple rares and a common, that's a duplicate. More armory credits. There is a legendary armory credit that we have seen in the game, and there's also an epic armory credit that we've seen in the game. I was sure I had Soviet Sapper 2. Maybe I have Soviet Sapper 1, which would make that one the one that's actually part of a collection. So I'm actually getting a lot of really good stuff here that I wasn't really expecting from the basic common supply drops. But we did see an epic armory credits drop. I know I talked about that in my last supply drop opening. I believe the epic armory credits are 270 armory credits. The legendary is 90, the rare is 30, and the reg is 10. So... Basically, they multiply by three every time you go up a rarity level. So if there is a heroic rarity, you're looking at somewhere like 600, 700 armory credits. Torch PO8. We finally have a new PO8 variant. So I've already had the Abwehr. This is pretty similar. It looks like an all-black Abwehr. It would be really cool if I got the Torch 2 and then I could put the Chrome and just make it look really, really smooth. But I'll take the Torch 1. It's probably going to be beat up. It's probably going to be a little bit rusty. Parachute calling card, armory credits, division XP. Someone asked me in the last video as well if division XP just stays there in the case that you have all of your divisions maxed out like I do. If you have your divisions maxed out like I do, unfortunately the division XP still gets used. So even if they do add another division down the line, it doesn't matter because, well, your division XP is, is going, down the, going down the drain as you play. Talon Epic, I do have that one, so that's a bunch of armory credits. My armory credits are actually looking pretty low right now. I think I went in and bought a bunch of things after the last opening. There's another duplicate of a pistol grip. We have four regular common supply drops to go. Proud to serve as a duplicate. Ten armory credits. I feel like I get ten armory credits in every supply drop that I open. But uh, continuing on. Looks like we're getting a couple more people coming to crowd around. I'm only getting three social score for each opening, which means by the time I 
go through all this, I might have to move and find a better spot to get more social score. Last supply drop, regular supply drop, 30 armory credits, cheer and clap, those are both duplicates. And we're done the regular supply drops for now. So let's take a look around. Oh, we've got a lot of people up at the spawn point. I'm going to go with the rare supply drop next. We're going to call it in right in the middle of them all. Hopefully it'll count them all. Armory credits. Eight. I'm on a pretty bad angle here, though. I'm going to back out so I can just get a better angle. Because that's annoying looking at those things like that. Can't place a supply drop here. Funny, because I just did. Here we go. Ever since I figured out this little hack with the uh, armory credits, or not the armory credits, but the social score, I've always wanted to just be in the middle of the crowd so that everyone can see it. And you can get the most social score you can. I'm getting five right now, which isn't great. We've got an epic. 20 minutes of weapon XP. When I see epics, heroics, I really expect to see weapons and outfits. I don't really want to see XP or pistol grips for that matter, but that telescopic pistol grip might be part of a collection, so we can only hope and pray. I've had a couple epics in a row now, which is pretty nice. That's a duplicate, so that's another 400 armory credits. Three rares to go. There's another epic. Oil can, which I've already got. 400 armory credits. I'm having pretty good luck today. I've had a lot of uh, epics in this little bunch of rare supply drops. 25th Regiment, which I've had for a while. And we're backing out again. So let me see. I've got my regular supply drops to go. See, now everyone's left. It's like no one, no one just stands around in the headquarters anymore. Like, unless you're in a full-on headquarters where there's thousands of people, no one just stands there. This is a good spot to go because you're so close to the Quartermaster and a lot of people stand here, so... That's why I'm going over here now. Winter Warrior Pistol Grip. 67 Winter Drops to go. That's a Legendary, maybe? Legendary Devil Emblem, which I've already got. It's a bunch of duplicate salvage or armory credits. There's a Common. Trudging On. Which is another thing that I don't have. I'm really looking for those epics like that one right there. Capitan Gefair. Holy balls, we did it. We got a variant from Supply Drops. I don't think it would ever happen. Apparently, these are the most rare Supply Drop variants that have ever been. Apparently, it's very, very, very difficult to unlock all of these variants. And we just got one that's pretty insane. But continuing on here, we have 64 Winter Supply Drops to go. That was really lucky to have that so soon in. I feel like they're making up for the fact that I was totally shafted on my last Winter Supply Drop opening and didn't get any variants. So hopefully we get more throughout this whole thing. I thought that was just going to be a regular epic from like one of the collections that I could go and buy the other epic variants. But I mean, hell, I will take that any day of the week. That was pretty damn lucky. It's no heroic, but I mean, oh my gosh, we got a variant. I'm honestly impressed. I'm honestly surprised. Here I thought the whole time I was just going to make a joke about not getting any variants in the title or something, searching for winter variants, and now I've got one? Like, oh my god. I mean, of course, I finished the challenges and got the base versions of those variants as well, but... Still, it's just really exciting to get some of those limited time variants in the Winter Supply Drops. Now, those emblems, the Domination Emblems, there is an emblem in the Winter Supply Drops for every single game mode, for every single score streak, and for every single piece of equipment. There is a Grenade Emblem, there is a Concussion Emblem, there is a Hardpoint Emblem, a Domination Emblem, a Team Deathmatch Emblem... There is a glide bomb emblem. There's a paratrooper emblem. Like there is literally one for every score streak, piece of equipment, and game mode in the game. And I feel like I'm missing an entirely different category as well. Like there is a ton of these crap filler emblems in the winter supply drops, which I forgot to mention in my filler video. In that video, I hadn't yet opened any winter supply drops, but I knew of the filler, like the new armory credits like 
the new emblems, but I didn't know the specifics, and now I know that these game mode emblems and score streak emblems and whatever else have you are in there, and they will kind of screw you over because all of these emblems, the ones for the score streaks, the game modes, etc., they aren't part of the collections in the Quartermaster. So if you go to the Quartermaster expecting like, oh man, I got all of these emblems for all of these random things, hoping that they'll complete part of your collection, they won't. The Quartermaster emblems are exclusively winter emblems. Like, it's ridiculous. Oh yeah, that's another thing. There's one for every division. I knew I was missing a category. There's one for every division, and some of those division emblems are higher than a common. I've seen rares and possibly legendary variants or legendary emblems from the... Um, I've seen legendary variants or emblems of those variants for the divisions. I think it's armored is legendary. Independent Carpathian Brigade 2. Okay, I'll take it. I would have preferred, honestly, to have the epic version. There's a PPSH Iron Curtain, which is one of the PPSH that I don't have already. So I've seen that one in game. It looks pretty nice. I'm not sure if there is an Iron Curtain 2. But as I was saying, I would rather have the epic versions of the outfits when it comes to the Winter Siege things because they are likely part of the Quartermaster collections and I can use them to get variants, whereas there are no heroic items in collections. Collections start at epic, and so there's multiple epic items rather than the heroics. And the heroic epic difference is heroic outfits don't have frost on them when it comes to the winter supply drops. When it comes to regular supply drops, your heroic outfits don't have dirt on them, whereas epic outfits do. We're getting a lot of duplicates now, a lot of XP, a lot of armory credits. They're like, yeah, you've had your epic, you've had your heroic, you don't get anything else. Chopper emblem. I'm hoping that's part of a collection. I've never seen that one before. I haven't studied the collections intuitively, but hopefully that's not part of, or hopefully that is part of the collections because it doesn't seem to be anything else, really. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. 45 to go. So we still effectively have about half of our supply drops to open. Tank. So there's like different vehicle emblems as well, I guess. So there's tank, chopper. There's another heroic. heroic. Point blank 2 M1 bazooka. I think in my last opening, I got the point blank 1, the epic variant. So I think that actually might be every bazooka variant in the game. I think I have them all. And I'm done that weapon and I'm never going back. So... Barb Emblem, that might be part of the collections, hopefully. I would have preferred that Heroic to be the actual Winter Supply Drop, but there's another Heroic, Spearhead 2. Pretty cool. It's an armored outfit. My armored outfits are kind of lacking. There's that dreaded Team Deathmatch Emblem again. That one haunted my dreams after my last opening. Hit it like four or five times in that opening. It is terrible. U.S. Riveter I've had for a very long time. 40 supply drops to go. Winter Warrior. Woohoo. Tulips. A bunch of duplicates. Don't fail me. Tank. 15 minutes of XP. 5 minutes of Division XP. Flame. Jaws of Death. 5 minutes XP. I have to remember as well that when I do get the epic variants out of the winter supply drops that I am getting pretty lucky because when I when I open that winter bribe, if it is dupe protected, it's keeping me away from those epics and those heroics and it's bringing me towards the epics that I need for the collection. So with any luck, we'll get some of those items that we really need. A heroic M1941, the Savior 2. I think that's my first heroic M1941. I'm not a big fan of the iron sights on that weapon, so I don't know if I'm going to use it or not, but we'll take a look at it at the end of the video. Kill Confirm, that's one of the game modes that I don't have, but again, it's not part of any collection, so it's absolutely useless to me, because of course, I make my own custom emblem. Anyone that's worth their salt is going to make their own custom emblem, especially if you're a YouTuber, you'll have like your little YouTube me emblem. So it's really just a waste to have these custom emblems in the supply drops to begin with. That's why it's complete filler. Heroic, and it's the backflip, which I already have. 1,000 armory credits, though. It's, I guess, yeah. I've already got the backflip, but nice try. Sea Captain Armored. 
Okay, looks like he's got a little life vest on. Zombie legendary. That might be part of the collections, that zombie legendary emblem. Iron and blood. Splatter. Five minutes of XP. A couple more epics here. The blue caps. I don't have that one yet. I don't use Expeditionary Division too often, though. I love how it keeps giving me the epic, common, epic, and the common is always the winter supply drop. Like, there's another epic, and I get the common winter. Sea Captain, I just got that. <laughs> I don't think I need two. There's another epic, Son of Mars, which I've already got. Out of breath. It is kind of shady how they only have the one winter item in your winter supply drops. I get that that's the whole point of the winter bribe, but considering you only can have one winter bribe, that or the challenge is broken, but I think you can only have the one winter bribe unless you're a part of that Amazon Twitch Prime thing. It's just kind of shady how you only get one. Pick your brain. That is definitely part of the collections. I think that's part of the Sten collection which is the hardest to complete in the game. I'm noticing I'm not getting a whole lot of uh, social score, and I see all of these hundreds of thousands of people over here, and uh, you know I'm a whore for that social score, so I gotta pop up here, I gotta find a nice little supply drop area, like right here. Hopefully the camera angle's okay. And uh, yeah, we're gonna stick it out right here. That's more like it, eight, eight social score for per opening. That is much better. Because it doesn't even matter if they're looking at their menus or anything. As long as they are nearby, they count as watching your, your opening. I don't know how they ever expect people to finish that one daily for having 15 people watching. That's very difficult. But it's not bad to get 7, 8 social score, 9 social score for every opening. Tip of the spear. We got 30 armory credits. 10 more armory credits. Slice and dice. Barb, I just got that earlier. Gas mask, duplicate. Icebreaker calling card, 90 armory credits. The armory credits will come in, come in handy. I, I will admit that. Like, when I go to buy things later, they will help, but I'd rather get my armory credits from duplicates if they happen to show up. 29th Cold Weather Regiment. I like that. I like getting legendary armor pieces from the winter supply drops that is likely part of a collection trudging on calling card got 14 more of these regular winter supply drops to go hubba hubba war which i've already got that's another game mode one there's an epic righteous type 100 i don't have that one yet i think most people use the righteous two i've seen the righteous two around but i'll take the righteous why not 10 more armory credits, 10 more supply drops by the look of it, flip and lose, duplicate, duplicate, 5 minutes of division XP, which is useless, epic, 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 and it's independent Carpathian Brigade, wait, is that not what I just got in the heroic? I'm pretty sure I just got independent Carpathian Brigade 2, so hopefully this is the one that's in the collection that I was talking about needing, so, whew, hopefully telescopic pistol grip i think we got that in this opening u.s winter overcoat that's another legendary outfit i like it overkill sipping tea we've already got that one i like to get the tea bag one that one's kind of funny i mean nothing can beat the backflip i run around the uh the headquarters sometimes and i offer backflips for commence <laughs> another epic come on krakow krakow crack krakow we got the Red Baron, too. I really like the Red Baron. I'm not sure if there's a Red Baron, too, because the regular Red Baron looks pretty nice. But Krakow, that's an epic outfit. That might help us with completing our collections. Cold Day, Mechanized Infantry, which I've already got. Four more Winter Supply Drops to go. Casings, Eye Contact, three to go. There's another Heroic, not in the Winters, though. Ooh, the oil can too. Nice. So I've already got the oil can, and then I got the oil can again in today's video, and now I've got the oil can too. I don't mind it. I like the oil can too. The regular oil can looks terrible. It's all rusty and garbagey and broken, but the oil can too, I will take that. Yes, please. And an epic to round things off. 
confuse emote gesture which i don't have that one so i don't know if there are gestures in the collections or if it's just armor pieces and calling cards and emblems but uh we did get a couple epic outfits there which i'm i'm pretty happy about so i've got one more guaranteed three winter items and just in case it is guaranteed that i don't get any duplicates i'm going to tell you what i'm going to do I'm going to go in here and I'm going to buy all of the cheap items. So like all of these things. So I don't get them in the winter opening. I don't know if it's a guaranteed certain rarity, but I don't want to get any of these cheap ass things. I, I want to get some nice things. We got the ice pick completely finished. Nice. We got the ice pick and we weren't even trying to do it. So that's pretty great. I didn't buy any of these items. We just, oh, that's what pick your, that's where pick your brain came from and the 29th Cold Weather Regiment. So that one's actually the easiest one to get, I believe. And we got it. The Gefair is pretty close. We only need two items there. GPMG, we only need two items. The Sten is just horrifying. Like, look at this thing. It starts at legendary. Absolutely disgusting. Uh, the Trench Knife, I don't have any cheap things to buy. Even these little uh, outfits and stuff, I'm gonna buy the cheap things. Just in case just in case we, we hit this situation where it's a dupe free and it just gives me like really cheap rare items. I don't want that. So we're buying up all this stuff. I'll keep the legendaries in there. It's probably gonna give me some cheap legendaries that I don't want anyways. And actually that's completed that collection by buying that cheap thing. So Naru Epic, Polish Winter. Cool. So we have two, two items to get here. This is a far step up off of last time. Last time I did the opening, I needed like seven out of eight items on most of these. And now I'm like really, really close with a lot. Like this, I just need the epic or the legendary. But it's like these ones that I'm looking for. I want to get those top two items from the Gefair and the GPMG. I don't know if there's anything in here. I guess I don't need to worry about that right now because this is winter confirmed. Like this is, this is three absolutely confirmed to be winter items. I'm going to call it in right in the middle right here. There doesn't seem to be a lot of people around, so I'll just call in for this guy here. The Evan Dream, or whatever his name is. See, it, it didn't even give me any good items. Like, that was really, really cheap. We got a rare emblem. I didn't even get anything. Like, not none of those items. You just saw me buy all of the rares in the comments from the collections. Those three items are not from the collections. They're not duplicates, so I can say that it is dupe protected. But they're not they're not even from the collections like that did absolutely nothing for me that took me 25 games 25 games in eight hours to earn your winter bribe or that amazon prime subscription thing yeah that's what you get for it right there it is dupe protected but it's not it's not secure in that it's going to be a high level item or anything so i'm actually kind of mad about that i was getting pretty excited i was like oh man we're gonna get some epics we're gonna get some something good because most other people that I see open their bribes, it's like epic, heroic, legendary. Like th that's how good the bribes usually are. I feel like I just got totally shafted. So I'm, I'm gonna go through here. I only need one thing for hell on wheels. That's a thousand. You know that I'm really more interested in those variants on the other side. So I'm just like really quickly checking here that I still need two things. So like just in case I only need like one little thing to finish these off five out of seven six out of seven most of these I need like one of the highest level things to get like the m1 garand I need one little thing special boat service I need one thing armor battalion one thing and most of these I already have the mark twos of anyways so yeah nothing in operation overload that I want the gpmg so I could get the hand warmer gpmg I can buy that straight out and I can buy, or I should say, or I can buy out the chiller. Now I did just get an epic Gefair from my opening. The Sten is just un, un, unnatural. Like no one is, I, I refuse to believe that anyone is actually going to be able to finish this collection. That is absolutely insane. I don't have any of these items, all legendaries and epics. I only have one thing like that's ridiculous. The trench knife is in the same boat. Like, why is a knife behind over 20,000 tokens? It's just, just, I don't even know what to say about it. But because I did get that epic from the opening of the Gefair, I already have a Gefair variant. So I'll come back and I'll get the Gefair at a later time. But for now, I'm going to buy the GPMG hand warmer. 
So there it is, the GPMG hand warmer. We'll take a look at that one as well. Of course, I already have the base variants of all of these. Most versatile in class, that's a load of crap because it's actually a really terrible weapon. But I, I have 6,900. You know what? I can buy the Gefer too. I can buy the Gefer too. How about we just buy both? How is, how is that for a compromise? So we got the chiller as well. So we got two Gefer variants. The only Gefer variant that I'm missing now is the heroic. So without further ado, let's uh, let's check out some of these variants. Some of them I won't be able to look at because I'm a low level. I usually try to keep myself at a really high level before I do openings, but I just wanted to do something fun for like a supply drop Sunday. So we got uh, new helmets, new calling cards, emblems, which nobody cares about. In terms of divisions, 29th Cold Weather Regiment. Cool, I'll rock that. U.S. Winter, we got Indian Head. Um, I should actually just make, I usually go to the bottom right here and I just make like a display class. So I'm just gonna unlock all the divisions. I haven't even unlocked them all yet. So uh, U.S. Medic, we got Clinical Nurse, which I already have, and U.S. Winter Overcoat which almost looks like a sniper outfit, really. But, I mean, hey, it's infantry, so... Airborne, we've got Polish Winter. Independent Carpathian Brigade 2. Yeah, so we did get this one twice. I got the regular Carpathian Gr Brigade, which is covered in snow. And I got the Carpathian Brigade 2. This is the one that we finished the collection for. Naru is the one that we finished the collection for. We're like, what is that supposed to be? I know it's black and gold, but it's so covered in snow that you can't even tell. There's an arrow too, which is a heroic version that you would just find in the supply drops. Krakow, Polish Winter, they all look the same, but I mean, obviously we're going to go with the heroic one. Armored, we got a new Desert Rat, Hussars. We got Sea Captain, which looks ridiculous. And US Tanker, we got Spearhead 2, which is okay. But those are all the outfits. Let's take a look at some of these new weapons. So we got the Savior 2, which is my first... Uh, heroic M1941. We'll take a look at this. Ooh, that is really, really nice. He's like, yeah, look at this beautiful gun. It's got that uh, little medic symbol on there. It, the only thing about this gun, it, those iron sights are brutal. Like, I cannot, I couldn't force myself to use those iron sights. I'd have to use an optic on that gun. STG. Got to watch my uh, unlock tokens here. So there is just one Red Baron in the game. And there it is. Like, it's, it is a pretty nice looking weapon considering, like, that is not bad at all. Uh, considering it's not a heroic, I should say. The bar, dude up to. This is going to be beautiful. Yeah, look at that. Look at that machine. I love the iron sights on the dude up to as well. Like how they have that little uh, that little loop at the end. And you know what? No, it's going to make this look fantastic. Oh, I thought it was going to go over the... I really thought that was going to go over the wood. Now I'm kind of disappointed. But uh, Chrome doesn't do anything to this gun. Apparently, I definitely thought it was going to go over the wood on the weapon, but uh, apparently not. So we're just going to take the chrome back off. <laughs> Gefer 43. So if you don't already have it, I'll show you. Base Gefer 43 right there. Which honestly, it's not bad. And the camouflages go on it very nice. Here is the one for completing collections. The chiller. Oh, he's got a nice little uh, emote there. I mean, I kind of want to look at the gun, but you can just do your emote thing, whatever. No, I don't want to do a shootout. I'm looking at guns right now, bro. But uh, I do like the little wrappings on the end of it. And then we've got the Capitan. Whoa, that's a very different looking weapon. The Capitan. It's like a little shorty version. So the only one we don't have is the Nobel. Let's take a look at this Capitan. Oh, that iron sight. No way. There's no more obstructive iron sight. It's just a little nub. This is going to be an awesome variant. This is going to be an incredible, incredible variant. Just that nice, super duper duper clean iron sight. Ignore my accuracy. I'm freaking out over this gun right now. Yeah, that's going to be really, really nice. So we've got the iron curtain, which is really dirty, really nasty, kind of grimy and gross. Uh, there is no Iron Curtain 2, though, so I guess we'll live with it. I got a new WAF, a new Type 100, and I just want to watch my armory credits here. Uh, in terms of the GPMG, in case you don't have it already, 
There's the base GPMG. It's kind of a weird looking gun to begin with, and it's got pretty decent iron sights. And then we'll switch over to the hand warmer, which is pretty well the exact same thing. It's just white. And he has the new little emote. He's like, oh yeah, look at all that snow on there. <laughs> so uh, I guess I'll unlock the Type 100 as well. And we'll take a look at this Righteous. There it is, the Righteous. I, I do see a lot of people running the Righteous too with a light, like silver filament down the side. And obviously I can't show you the WAF because it's not unlocked, but we got a new PO8. So before I said I have the Abware. Ab there, whatever you want to call it, which is just like a Nambu, looks pretty cool. I like the color scheme of it. And now we got the torch, which is pretty much the exact same thing, except this one's black and gold. It's a black and gold variant. I've noticed that there are certain patterns with variants in this game. There are black and gold variants for everything. There are green variants for everything. The green with the yellow writing. So again, just in case you don't have it yet, there's the regular ice pick pretty straightforward and we got the gold digger which we finished somehow just by opening the supply drops which is not bad and the gold digger it's just covered in snow it's basically the only difference here it's come it's just oh my gosh there's snow on it oh no it's not like the actual gold digger like this one is what i would have called the gold digger you know because it's made out of gold and that makes sense but instead we it's it's the snow digger really and uh, that looks like all of the weapons that we got. Of course, we can't show you the oil can too, but maybe we'll come back to it on a future video. I might show it off in my chrome camouflage video, which I will have out very soon as well. That'll be another live commentary. But um, yeah, that's pretty cool. We, we actually got a bunch of Gefer variants. We got the GPMG variant. And now, of course, that I'm done my supply drop opening, there's like 400,000 people in this goddamn headquarters. Like... Really, guys, you couldn't have been here like when I was opening supply drops. Like this would have been, uh, actually, it's pretty close. One, two, three, four, five, six people. If I open it right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. If I opened it right here, like you guys couldn't have been here like 20 minutes ago. But anyways, guys, that is going to conclude today's supply drop opening. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe if you are new to Black Tide TV. And uh, you know all the good stuff. Be one of the first three people to comment and you'll have entries into my giveaway. You can also support on YouTube Gaming, which is linked in the description down below. And if you support monthly, you'll have entries into the giveaway. You can follow or subscribe to my other channel, my second channel, which this week we might be talking about Star Wars. We might be talking about Disney Fox mergers. So I might even have a double upload on the second channel this week. So you might want to check that one out as well. Follow me on Twitter, and I will catch you guys on the next video.